Hey friends, um, I will be reviewing Yandex Mail today. Um, I'm saying Yandex Mail, but what I really mean is Yandex, which is actually a sort of applications, uh, exactly as uh, Google Services or Microsoft Services. Um, you can do a lot of things with Yandex. They have a lot of um, sub services, subsystems that can be used. I don't know a lot of, about Yandex. The goal of this tutorial or of this um, small video is actually to go along and try to see what the offer at Yandex. Can it actually be an alternative to Google or Microsoft or Apple ecosystem in some way or to some degree? Okay, we are going to start with the Yandex mail, of course. What does it has? What does it look like? Um, I think the interface is pretty simple. It's pretty nice. Um, something I'm just, I'm actually realizing, which is a bit weird to me, is that they give you the opportunity to add the mailbox of other services of either Outlook or Hotmail or Gmail. I think it's a bit weird. I think it doesn't make a lot of sense. I think it's a bit like um, recognizing that the others are good or are better or, yeah. But um, I, I don't really agree with it. I'm not sure why they did it. But yeah, um, let's just keep going. You can flag mails, you can create labels, you can set mails as on red. Like here, I did click on a specific mail. That's why I have this, um, this layout. That's the layout that you get when you're clicking on the mail. That's not the list of mails, of course. Um, and then apparently you have messages related to events. Uh, I'm not sure what is the difference between the mail and the message on Yandex. I think it's a bit confusing. Yeah, as probably the message of the mail, like the mail has messages probably, and then some attachments, and then some links, and then some messages from that's probably the title yeah messages from the yandex mail team and then here you have the yandex mail team yeah so that's it that's kind of another way to view the same thing but it's not html based it's more like text based i think kind of the text based version pretty minimalistic not sure what's the point with it but yeah probably they didn't want to keep it you know empty but it's fine um and uh, over here, what does it look like? Uh, the layout of um, one mail. Yeah, you can flag the mail. You can set it as, um, what is it, uh, on red. You can flag it. You can set it as a spam. You can say it's a spam. You can uh, forward it, of course. You can reply. You can delete the mail. You can send it to a specific folder. You can pin the mail and then have it all the time on the top, I guess. Um, you can translate the mail. That's interesting. What does it do? Message language. It is in English. It did detect that the mail is in English. If I want to translate the mail in another language than Turkish, what do I do? I click on Turkish and I translate the mail in uh, French. Does it work? It does work. It did translate the whole mail. Reply with translator. What's that? Um, but it's, it's interesting. I actually like this feature. I think it's yeah, it's nice. If you get some couple of, I don't know, random mails from countries which are speaking languages that you are not accustomed to, then you can use that option. I think it's pretty straightforward. I think it's nice. A good, it's a good feature they have here. Uh, what did what do they have else? Uh, printing is pretty common. Create filter, pretty common. Message properties, what is that about? Okay. I think this is just like giving me, oh, I'm getting it as an EML file, which means that um, actually EML and MSG, I think, are the two extensions that are being used as um, mail extensions. EML is, I think, it's being used by. Uh, um, not Microsoft base um, email clients uh, that will be Thunderbird or Evolution or 
the mail client on app on Apple and all those other mail clients that are on Microsoft Base anyway. And then Microsoft Base is using the MSG extension. It can of course also read email extensions, but uh, yeah, Microsoft always have to do things not the right way, not the normal way. It's Microsoft. But yeah, um, that's interesting. I think this feature is not bad. It's nice, especially if you have the possibility to share this this link that you're getting. I'm not sure if it's feasible, but something that you can also um, realize is that the whole thing is actually base64 encoded, which means that um, this is the real mail. This stuff that nobody can read is the real mail in itself. It's probably the real EML file and then you can just unpack it and get the real um, content out of it. It's nice. I like it. Um, what else do they have here? Um, you can see, okay, let's go to the inbox first. Well, the inbox is pretty, you know, you can change the layout. You can decide to have the content beside. Nice. I like it. I actually like it. I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you can decide to have uh, the content down instead of beside. That's I don't like it that much because then you get less mails um, displayed. Um, I don't like it that much, but um, yeah, you can decide. You can want. You can say that you want to have uh, large fonts, and then you have large fonts. That's nice, also. I like it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for the inbox. Send mails. Go to inbox. Mm. Yeah, I didn't send anything. Should we try to send something? Yeah, let's do it. Um, I will compose email to uh, Linux apps. I will send email to myself at yandex.com. Yeah, to the same guy. And then um, the subject is going to be um, hello mail. And the content is going to be, did you get it? Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, actually we can try to bend to take advantage of this and try to see how it works, you know, like writing out mails. Oh, it's nice. I mean, that's, that's something. Okay. This probably means that I might be able to have more than one email addresses here on this interface. Yeah, I think this is what that allows me to do, right? Um, I can add more email addresses over here. I can have Gmail and Outlook also. Um, but I only have Yandex and probably also all the Yandex um, email addresses. Who knows? Um, that might be feasible. Maybe I can label the email before sending it mm, that's cool um yeah, yeah i what is the sms option doing you can send an sms copy of a message sent to yourself um does it mean that if i send the message to someone else then i will be able to send an sms copy let's try to do it and i really like the interface actually you just click on it and then you can edit it and remove it I, I think it's nice i think it's it's cool i like it a lot okay um what do i want to do here i want to um i was it send it to someone else i will send it to someone else which is still me of course because who cares about it beside me send an sms copy to the guy okay is it like for free <laughs> We will see it. We will see if it's for free. That's interesting, actually. Okay, I did insert the email address and the telephone number. Everything is done. Um, yeah, it looks fine. And then, uh, did you get it? That's okay. And then we just send here. I would have expected the send button to be here, but it's there instead. But it's okay, it's not killing anybody, but yeah, you know, just a matter of preference. 
and they are saying that uh, please enter your number in the format which means that they are probably supporting just a specific country okay or that i have to put spaces okay let's try to help them figure it out um i think it's not that smart i mean they should be able to figure it out right i guess well they didn't figure it out anyway let's give it up it was too good to be true anyway um yeah let's send it like this and uh, here you have a visivig editor you know you can make stuff big or small or whatever and change the font and do fancy things yeah it works yeah that's fine um yeah let's send it okay that's probably the most annoying thing i've seen so far they said sorry this message appears to be spam to make sure that you're sending this message yourself rather than an automated program please enter the characters displayed in the picture i basically don't see the picture so i think i can see environmentally i think that's the only first time that i'm using an email program and then they're asking me to you know confirm sending a message by typing in some kind of code like that's annoying guys okay i probably have to type both i did type only one of them previously probably have to insert the two of them that was annoying as process just sending a mail is that complicated come on yandex it cannot be that difficult no i'm not okay with it really really not okay with it um it does need quite a bit of time to be um appear to appear actually on this section the send mail section that is annoying also but uh, it's fine and um yeah that's that's it about it um inbox and then the trash you have a trash of course when you delete messages i guess where your spams are going they're over here your draft messages if you draft something you don't send it yet it's coming here you can create another folder with a template even and over here you can see all the flags that you have and um yeah, it's pretty it's okay i mean yeah it's fine what do we have up here as option what can we do here um we can change the team hmm. i'm not really fond of team changing but uh, it's nice to have what else can we do personal data signature feature message filtering import mail from other accounts um man, ma manage subscriptions folders level security appearance task contacts other well that's that's a lot that's a lot to go on like i i cannot do all of it in one video so i will uh, try to split it up in many videos and uh, i will come back for other um services of yandex uh, what else do they have uh, maybe we can just you know before cl uh, closing this before stopping the video <clears throat> you can try to go around here and see how those those stuffs look here i guess it's just you know changing the password yeah might be straightforward as i said um and then you again have to uh confirm something to write to type in an, a small image uh, something like a code that is appearing from one on an image and something like this yeah just very very high amount of security i think it's a bit annoying especially when you're sending an email anyway yeah what can you do here account management on uh, yandex.com password and authorization um change password add security question enable app password set up two 
factors. I think those guys are really, really, really into security. Oh my god, it's crazy. Um, sign in and device history, nice, it's cool. Um, email inboxes and phone numbers, nice, it's cool. Ad accounts, mm. it's nice. Well, I think um, I think that was it about Yandex email. If you guys are interested in Linux stuff, um, I will be doing more videos. I will also be doing videos about Yandex, the other services of Yandex. I will try to use them with you guys, and uh, we will see how it goes. And if we like it, maybe we will try to use it more. And we are doing now anyway since everybody is crazy about um, security now and everybody is really concerned about it even though we don't know what we are really hiding but yeah that's it um i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it then uh, like it and subscribe to the channel to get more when there's going to be more